Hi, Cat's Cradle here. Yesterday I saw a YouTube video posted by my good friend David, Southern Prepper One, and he was in his garden capturing Japanese beetles. And he suggested that in a grid down WROL situation, that the person who patrolled the garden and took care of the pest would be as important as the person who planted and cultivated, and I totally agree. He also suggested that children would be a good resource to use to be on patrol for for the bugs and that's exactly what happens in our family right now I'm showing a old two liter soda bottle that Prepper A used to, uses to catch grasshoppers she has a separate container she uses for Japanese beetles and she goes on patrol four or five times a day she's out in the garden even as I speak and is working on capturing the bugs that are seeking to destroy our crops our Japanese, uh, our raspberry plants have just been ravaged by Japanese beetles. We do leave the berries on that they eat. You can see the one on the far right is kind of bug eaten in hopes that they will not come back and eat uh, the ones that they haven't touched. So we don't pick those off. You can see the leaves just have holes all in them and it's mainly in the old canes, the ones that are bearing fruit this year. The brand new canes they don't seem to be messing with and so I'm assuming they just get close to the fruit and begin munching, but they absolutely love raspberry leaves. Uh, I'm about to go to war, though, because I'm ordering today milky spore powder. Since I don't want to use a spray-on insecticide, I mean, I have a young child and animals, and I have honeybees, and I do not want for them to get into any um, insecticide. I am going to use this milky spore powder, and it is a bacteria that you scratch into the ground around the plants that seem to be most disturbed by the Japanese beetles. And what happens is when those Japanese beetles go to the ground to lay their eggs, uh, the little grubs are formed and those grubs will eat the uh, milky spore powder before they begin to burrow into the ground. And that happens in July. So you need to get it and get it worked into the ground so that the grubs will take it down in as they bore into the ground and what will happen are those spores will proliferate within the bodies of the grubs and eventually kill them. So I'm ordering it today without, uh, without delay because I want to be sure that I'm killing them as they go in to hibernate for the winter. They, they will come up uh, next June and that's when they will uh, come up as the full grown Japanese beetles. This picture's a little fuzzy, but you can see all the black spots are Japanese beetles. Look how many on one leaf, and that is not unusual. The good thing is that if you hold a little bucket under them with soapy water, as soon as you get close to them, they play dead and they'll just fall right in. They don't bite, so you don't need to worry about handling them. And they're a lot easier to capture early in the morning or just before dusk. They're a lot less active. Here is um, a jar that I collected this morning. I went out before Prepare got up, and that's just what I got off of the green beans. They will swarm around overhead and eventually uh, land on a leaf, and when they do, you can knock them into a bucket of soapy water. Here's what she collected yesterday. What you're seeing floating on the surface of the water is only a small amount because many of them have already sunk to the bottom of the container. This is smelling pretty rank right now. She's going to toss it out, get her a new clean bucket of soapy water, and start again today. We're going to drown those first. Uh, it's, it's just an ongoing battle. I'm so fortunate to have her in that she's such a willing participant in this effort and uh, goes out many times a day to collect them. In fact, she's about to take this jar and head outside now to go on patrol. She's a great helper, and I don't know what I'd do without her. It's really uh, frustrating when you see leaves that look like this because it's impossible for a photosynthesis to take place like it should when there's just no uh, surface area for the nutrients to be absorbed into the plant. And if I allow this to continue, I simply just would not have any green beans. It wouldn't happen. So uh, we're being vigilant and uh, trying to get rid of them. I'm also going to post a link for you to a document by Ohio State University where they give you all the information you could possibly want about grubs. I will try to post a link for you as well as to where I'm ordering uh, my milky spore powder. 
the best thing I can do to, to tell you is just stay after it. Uh, you want to, if you want to get the pheromone attractant, uh, it is an attractant, and then at the bottom there is attaches a little bag w that collects the bugs. I saw a guy use this attractant, and in one day he caught around five to six pounds of the Japanese beetles. It works very, very well. You would want to put it in a place uh, on the outer perimeter of your door of your yard not close to where the plants are that they like to munch on. If your neighbor has put up a pheromone attractant for beetles you can expect to get them in your yard as well. It does lure them lure them to your yard. One of the best things to do and next year I'll be I'll be uh, more conscious of it is to check those plants every day and the first sign of Japanese beetles I will begin squashing them and leave them where they lay because those are the scout beetles and they're the ones who are to return and tell the others where to come and find food so if they're not going back uh, obviously my place would not be a, a place where they would be welcome I want to share with you another link of another kind of bug these are bugs that are being developed by the government you see the bug on the finger up there that is not a real mosquito it is a uh, robot and I was made aware of this by Skybird Bird who posted a link to another channel and I'll post all the links for you there below. This seems like uh, science fiction but I remember uh, the day when I heard people talking about a cell phone and that you'd be able to ride in your car and talk on a phone and I thought that was far-fetched. I'm amazed when I ride in the city and Prepare is sitting in the back seat with her notebook computer and she's able to point to every building that has Wi-Fi because she can see that on her computer. Who has it, what the name of the Wi-Fi is, and I find that fascinating that she can know that just by driving by the building. So this is not far-fetched and I hope you'll check it out and that you will be aware Anyway, go after those Japanese beetles. I hope I've provided some information here that will help you and that will uh, save you heartache from those nasty little critters eating your crops. Cat's Cradle.